have determined that it is time to officially recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. While previous presidents have made this a major campaign promise, they failed to deliver. Today, I am delivering. I am also directing the State Department to begin preparation to move the American Embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. Here are pictures from the West Bank. Protesters have been burning tires and throwing objects at Israeli security forces, which have responded with tear gas and water cannons. Authorities say dozens of people have been injured. A producer from RT Arabic was caught up in the unrest and needed medical assistance. Protests against Trump's decision have been spreading across the Middle East as well. Therefore, I have determined that it is time to officially recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. No one has the right to play with the fate of millions of people for the sake of one's personal ambitions. This is a historic day. We're profoundly grateful for the President for his courageous and just decision to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel and to prepare for the opening of the U.S. Embassy here. President Trump, thank you for today's historic decision to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital. The Jewish people and the Jewish state will be forever grateful, will be forever grateful will be forever grateful. This is a regrettable decision which France does not approve of and which contradicts international law and UN Security Council resolutions. Recognizing Jerusalem as the capital of Israel does not calm a conflict. Rather, it fuels it even more. It's in everyone's interest that that does not happen. It is a very fragile context and the announcement has the potential to send us backwards to even darker times than the ones we are already living in. We disagree with the U.S. decision to move its embassy to Jerusalem and recognize Jerusalem as Israeli capital before a final status agreement. We believe it is unhelpful in terms of prospects for peace in
As cool as wine, the wind is sighing through silent mountain pines. The evening light is slowly dying as bells of evening chime. So many songs, so many stories, the rocks and hills recall. Within your heart, inside the city, the ancient stones, the wall. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, forever young, yet forever old. My heart will sing your song of glory, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. They clash with Israeli troops, firing water cannons and tear gas. We have nothing to lose anymore, so we will not uh, stay seated and just watch them take our Jerusalem away. If it elevates to another intifada, it's going to be different. It's going to be a, a long strike. Okay, everyone's going to be affected, us Israelis. By late afternoon, the clashes escalate. The head of the Islamist group Hamas calls for a new intifada for the liberation of Jerusalem. Here in the West Bank town of Ramallah, these Palestinians say they're ready. This uh, thing that uh, Trump has uh, came up with, this is so wrong and Palestinians should go, go through intifada so they can uh, bring back the uh, capital of uh, Palestine. Uh, it will never be the capital of Israel. We want to live like any pe any person in the world, and we need capital and to live peace. And they do the problem, not the Palestinian. In the old city of Jerusalem, these women protest outside the former American consulate with a Palestinian flag. They say Israeli soldiers took it. In the end, they put up their other national symbol, the kafia, instead. <laughs> This is one of several protests taking place here in Jordan. In the capital, protesters gathered outside the U.S. Embassy, where we have seen a really heavy security presence, Jordanian security forces not allowing protesters to get too close uh, to the embassy. Uh, people are infuriated by President Trump's announcement. Take a listen to what some of those protesters told us. He has given legitimacy to what is going to be the biggest terrorist movement that this region will ever witness. He has legitimized this movement. 
uh, because of his narcissistic urges, and this is not acceptable. Trump is not responsible to decide Jerusalem is uh, for whom. And Palestine is an Arabic occupied land. We are not against Jews. We are against Israel, a terrorist Zionist occupation state. And refugees must be back to their homeland. The Americans now, by Trump, are supporting the Israeli terror. When Jordanian officials were warning President Trump about making this announcement, it is scenes like this that they were concerned about. More than half the population of this country is either Palestinian or Palestinian descent. But it's not just Palestinians who are angry. It is also Jordanians uh, in this country. We have not seen uh, these kinds of anti-American sentiments in Jordan in a very long time and more protests are expected on Friday following Friday prayers. Shumana Karachi, CNN, Amman. President Trump, thank you for today's historic decision to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital. The Jewish people and the Jewish state will be forever grateful.